everybody, I'm Robin and this is Grace. Hi everyone, we're so excited to be joining you today for Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about the safety and importance of dental x-rays. We commonly hear from patients that they either can't justify the cost of x-rays or they're concerned about the amount of radiation they're exposed to. When it comes to properly diagnosing a dental issue, x-rays are a vital part of the process. We take four different variations of x-rays in our office. There are several different kinds. There is the CBCT, which stands for Cone Beam Computed Tomography. We commonly will call it just a CBT here in the office. The CBT will allow the doctors to see the jaw, the teeth, and the supporting structures even when it comes to the sinus cavity. <clears throat> Another one that we do is called an FMX, which stands for full mouth series, and it is usually about 18 periapical films and also four bite wings. Bite wings are the x-rays that patients are probably most familiar with because they're the x-rays that the hygienist takes at regular dental cleanings to help them and the doctors see the molars on a more consistent basis to make sure that they're staying in good health. Lastly, there are PAs, which stand for periapical. We will usually take these to focus on one or two teeth. It will show the crown of the tooth and also the root in the surrounding bone structure. Like we said earlier, many patients are hesitant or they don't understand why we need x-rays. Think of the tooth like an iceberg. Visually, you can only see half of the picture. You see the part that you chew with and what the hygienist or the dentist look at during your exams, but there's still things underneath that need to be seen and or checked. Being able to see what's going on with the roots of the tooth in the bone and the gum tissue surrounding the tooth can help us catch problems before they become serious. We won't deny that there are risks and concerns when it comes to radiation exposure. The fact of the matter is, is that most of those risks only come with a large amount of radiation. In our office, the machines that we use only emit a small amount. In our office, we follow OSHA guidelines and regulations. We calibrate our x-ray machines every four years to make sure that only the required amount of exposure is given. We also log our x-ray exposure in each operatory and each sensor yearly. We also provide lead vests for the patient to wear while we take an x-ray. They cover the shoulders, the chest, and the abdominal area, and we have a thyroid collar that can be used at the patient's request. We do take extra precaution when it comes to pregnant women. The doctors would prefer not to do any treatment outside of routine cleanings. On the rare occasion that an x-ray is necessary, they would want to avoid taking x-rays during the first and third trimester to keep the stress away from the baby. If a pregnant woman does need x-rays, we would double up on the lead vest um, and we would try to wait until the baby is more developed. Waiting for the baby to be more developed can reduce any possible issues. The reality is that anybody and everybody can have dental emergencies. And if a pregnant woman does have an issue come up that needs an x-ray, we would just consult with their doctor first. Patients aren't the only ones that are at risk during an x-ray. We, the operators, are as well. There's a few precautions that we can take here in the office. There are vests that we can wear ourselves. We can walk out of the room when an x-ray is being taken, or there are actual radiation gloves that the dentists can use when holding a sensor in the mouth. Many people believe strongly that dental x-rays are dangerous and they don't fit within a holistic lifestyle. It might sound controversial at first, but living a natural and holistic lifestyle means keeping your health at an optimum level and free of medications and extra procedures. While x-rays do have some exposure, the amount is so minimal that the pros greatly outweigh that one con. For example, the CBCT will give off less radiation than a cell phone that people use daily. 
A routine exam, which includes four bite wings, is 0 .005 MSV, which is less than a day's worth of natural background radiation. It is also less or about the same amount as a one to two hour plane flight. X-rays help the patient, along with routine cleanings and optimal at-home care, to keep your teeth as healthy as, as healthy as possible and to avoid having to do things like root canals or extractions. It's important to try and keep your teeth your whole life to live the healthiest lifestyle possible. Outside of patients being concerned about potential health risks, another concern of theirs is the cost of dental x-rays. Unfortunately, a lot of patients perceive x-rays as a luxury instead of something that's worth putting their money towards. Overall, many people see going to the dentist at all as a luxury, not just because of the x-rays. When re in reality, the dentist needs to be on your list of people that you see regularly. For the most part, dental policies will provide some coverage for dental x-rays. When it comes to someone that doesn't have dental insurance, that can be pretty daunting when it comes to the cost for a cleaning with x-rays. Our office has put in place a preventative plan that can help you make those routine visits and the x-rays a more realistic part of your monthly budget. While the doctors would recommend doing your four bite wings at your routine cleanings yearly, they will always discuss with the patient on a case-by-case -case basis regarding their x-ray needs. And if a patient has a solid dental history with very few issues, the doctors may allow a little more time in between x-rays. Again, this is a case-by-case -case basis and we do not speak for any of the other dentists in the world. If you have more questions about x-rays or about our preventative plan, we'll put the link for that here in this video. Or you can comment with your questions or call us or ask us at your next visit. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video and join us next month to learn about affordable dentistry. Have a good day. Bye!